Hey guys, it's Pelican here and welcome to my first 1VX commentary video. In this video, I'm playing my heavy stand blade in a 1VX scenario and I'll be going through the process of the fight as well as sharing some tips and tricks which uh, not only applies to stand blade but can also apply to any other class when you're outnumbered. Through this video, I aim to help players who are getting into solo PvP and I also plan to make more of these videos with other classes in the future. So to start off this fight, I was fighting a few players earlier and now more players have joined the fight and it has become a 1v4. Someone used permafrost on me so I caught my shade to get out of the stun and I decided to go for some line of sight to uh, reduce my damage taken. Block the meteor and again I will port to my shade. Shade is one of the strongest skills for 1VX because it lets you get out of any dangerous situations instantly. You want to place your shades well and know when to port them. It doesn't cost much, only about 2k magicka and it's worth putting on any night blade setups bar. With my in-cap and relentless ready, I found a burst opportunity for this guy. And basically what you want to do for 1VX is kill the squishier players first so that you have an easier time fighting the stronger players later on. Make sure to stop rezzers, as you can see I failed to stop a rest here, but even if you fail to do so, don't worry, because the players getting rest are usually the squishier players that you have killed earlier, so once they are rest, they will be low on resources and it will be easy to kill them again. To counter rezzers, remember the locations of where your opponents died and constantly check on them to ensure that there isn't anyone rezzing, and if someone is rezzing, you can choose to interrupt them if they are tanky or if they are squishy enough, you can attempt to burst them. A good tactic is to place your shade on someone after you have killed them as seen in this other clip so that you can port back to the body at any time to stop any rezzers. On top of that, you also separate the rezzer from the rest of the zerg so you can also easily kill the rezzer. Going back to the fight, I am now faced off with a magpla and a mag dk. Magplas are really hard to fight in a 1vx not only can they rest their teammates very quickly, they can also heal them to full in an instant. There are a few ways to counter healers like that. My favourite way is to separate my target from the healers. This can be done by going around obstacles such as a tree or a tower. Once they are out of the range of their healers, quickly burst them before their healers have a chance to arrive and heal them. If you have an AoE crowd control ability, you can also stun both the healer and your target. The healer might not be able to break free in time to heal his teammate. If the healer is squishy enough, you can also attempt to one-shot the healer. Once you are down to your last opponent, do not let your guard down. There can always be gankers around and it's highly possible that the players you've just killed will return to attack you again. And it's also likely that they will bring even more people with them. When you are bursting someone, your burst combo will vary depending on the target. Squishier targets will require a less sophisticated burst combo, while tankier targets require you to put more debuffs on them and lower their health before you attempt a burst. On stand blade, the ideal and hardest hitting burst combo is in cap, light attack and relentless, with a fear in between if your in cap does not stun. Before that, use surprise attack and rending slashes to debuff and lower your opponent's HP. No matter what class you are on, always weave light attacks into your skill rotation, as light attacks hit hard and can proc a variety of effects. And they do not apply to the global cooldown, which means that Weaving light attacks does not slow down your skill rotation. Now we are down to our last opponent, which is a tanky build that does little damage. You will encounter a lot of such builds in open world zero deal, and usually you just ignore them unless they're the last person left in their team. Sometimes builds like that are impossible to kill when you're solo, or even when you're in a group. But more often than not, you can kill them if you go offensive on them for long enough. When fighting this guy, I make sure to always keep my offense up on him and never give him a break unless he has a Restro out up. And I, after his out wears down, I will use my out to burst him because I know that he will not be able to cast Restro again for a while. I will always make sure to maintain my offensive buffs such as forward momentum and leeching strikes as well as relentless and also my debuffs on him. Make sure to block their heavies to prevent them from getting resources back and heal yourself once in a while because they can do some damage to you over time. And so eventually I was able to run him out of resources and conclude the fight. So that's all for this commentary video, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from it. 
do let me know if you want to see more of such videos in the future and i'll see you again in the next video